Johnny, that was Devin Funches after family night a few weeks ago. Welcome to the training camp report. I'm Nicole Menner. This is Johnny Gray. Big news coming today for the Packers as they make some more roster moves. Devin Funches placed on the injured reserve. Ouch. 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 I mean, that, that is that when we started training camp, that was the, the big room. I mean, they had all these all this talent, all these receivers in there. And all of a sudden, slowly but surely, they've all been starting to drill, uh, drill down, I guess you should say. Um, so it, it's it's a, it's a it's a blow. It certainly is a blow. Fun just signed with the Packers in March of 2020. Then he opted out of last season. He played just one game with the Colts in 2019. He was having a good camp, standing out during family night and the first preseason game against the Texans, where he had six receptions for 70 yards. He did not play this past weekend against the Jets. The Packers also releasing wide receiver Chris Blair, added cornerback Stephen Denmark and defensive lineman Abdullah Anderson. But let's talk more about Funches because he did seem like he was becoming possibly a lock on this roster. It really did, Nicole. That hurts for him. But let's take a look at that depth chart because it's still a competition battle. There's guys vying for that spot. With Funches gone, Malik Taylor behind Alan Lazard in the depth chart. But not much else has changed other than Chris Blair getting released. Brian Gutekun spoke about competition in the final preseason game coming up Saturday. We usually have a core of around 30, 35. Minutes. And we have seen other guys impressing. I mean, Malik Taylor against the Texans on uh, against the Jets on Saturday had a really great game. So that's definitely one we'll be keeping an eye on Saturday against the Bills. And that's why we hear these players get on and they talk about training camp and, and they say, what about the numbers and the competition in that room? And he says, well, yeah, but my job is to go out there and compete. Only thing I can do is control what I can control. And that's going out there and playing to the best of my ability because anything can happen. Exactly. And we saw that happen yesterday too. Will Redmond getting placed on injured reserve yesterday likely opens the door for another safety to make ah, the roster. Oh, well, we're going to take a look at one of the undrafted free agents. The package picked up and why defensive backs coach Jerry Gray likes what he sees. Time now for Johnny's guys and Johnny. One thing we'll be keeping an eye on Saturday. Some of the young players who can make an impact on defense and special teams. What do you like about Christian Uphoff? Well, he is coachable. One thing that Uphoff also said when we heard from him this week is that when he went undrafted and he was talking to his agent, Green Bay was a team he mentioned that he felt would be a good fit because the Packers give undrafted free agents a chance. I give him a chance. One, also, one of the things that Jerry Gray talked about earlier in training camp was that in order for you to have a chance to play safety, you got to do well on special teams. Mm -hmm. Well, he has shown Jerry Gray that, hey, I can play special teams, so he's going to get an opportunity to play a lot this weekend. Yeah, big game for him on Saturday. And let's talk about Chris Barnes. He was one of the only presumed starters to get some action across the first two preseason games. Well, and, and, there, and the reason for that is because he, he came in last year and did not get a chance to play really or, uh, through the uh, well, coming up next, the best thing we heard today. And it comes from number 12, Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> hear what he had to say about his buddy Randall Cobb coming up next. Time to hear this. And tonight it comes from an Aaron Rodgers appearance on the Pat McAfee show. He was asked about Randall Cobb, if there's any added pressure on him this season, given the situation that brought him back to Green Bay. Anybody who hasn't been around him, there's been so many moments throughout camp where you're like, whoa, like, Whoa, that was really smart. Or yeah, no pressure. Johnny, you've been here longer than I have. You think Randall Cobb still has it? He's shown that he does. He really does. Yeah, excited to see the connection him and Rodgers have uh, this season, and I'm, I'm sure we'll see plenty of it. Absolutely. Well, Nicole, it's time for the TCR trivia. Our favorite part. Yeah, and our question is, dating back to 1970, how many times have the Packers finished the preseason against a team from the AFC? 15, 20, 30, or 42? Hmm. We'll tell you when we come back. There's a lot to figure out on Saturday with those position battles. The rosters have to get back down, uh, cut down to 53 very soon. We don't know if Jordan Love will be playing yet, so we're waiting on that. That's true. Uh, that'll be a big, big tell. We've only seen him play half a preseason game, so mm -hmm. we're hoping we can see him in action All right. on Saturday. We've got practice tomorrow, another training camp report. Johnny, Boom. have a great night, everyone.